My guest today is Jared Harris, very funny comedian uh, who lives in Atlanta now. Yes, and I do. And you, you moved to Atlanta recently. Well, I moved back. Yeah, I was from, I'm from Atlanta originally. And uh, yeah, so I moved um, 2008. Actually, no, technically 2007, I guess. And I was on the road for a while. I mean, I had been on the road for a while. I lived in a van for a while. And then I stayed in New York for a few months, and then I went to Los Angeles in 2009, and yeah, I pretty much just moved back from Los Angeles at, about a year ago. So, how long had you been doing comedy before you went to L.A.? Uh, let's see, I started in 2002, no, uh, 2001, okay. I started in 2001, and uh, it was right after 9-11 is when I started, and uh just because it seemed like the <laughs> seemed like the appropriate thing to do. Seemed like the right thing to do. You're like I, I should tell jokes to strangers after after an event like this. Yeah. Yeah. So I I don't know. Uh, no, it was really weird how I even started doing stand up comedy. Um, how was that? Well, it, it's it's funny because like Stephen Colbert, which I'm sure a lot of people know, um, he is essentially he's a friend of a friend, and then he like was super cool like. I sent him a video packet of a bunch of just random stuff that I had done. All just, like, really immature, silly, just crazy stuff. And, you know, I never had any sort of stand-up experience or anything like that. But my buddy, <clears throat> this buddy of mine said, uh, we were talking one morning, because I used to have a pressure washing business, and was doing pretty well with that. I was, like, slammed, really. And uh, this was, like, the height of, like, all the construction and, you know, people were just overextending themselves, buying houses they couldn't afford, and, you know, and I was, like, basically there to, like, wash all, all these houses. Because every time, I did a lot of brick cleaning, so I don't get too boring with all this, but I did a lot of brick cleaning. Mm -hmm. And so one of my customers uh, who's a property management uh, guy, and he was talking to me one morning. We were actually washing a parking deck downtown. And uh, so we were just waiting for the, the, the people to get there to open up the gate to let us in. And we were talking, and he was like, so what do you want to... He's like, you just gonna, you going to keep doing this, or you, you do something else, or is this... And I was like, ah, I definitely don't want to keep doing this. And uh, then I started telling him, you know, I'd like to work in entertainment somehow. Just be creative and uh, be appreciated for it. And then that's when he was like, oh, have you ever heard of Stephen Colbert? And I was like... Because I've never really been into TV that much, and... Uh, then he kind of was, you know, he's like, oh, the guy with the glasses on The Daily Show. I was like, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, was this was before like, I like the Colbert Report was out then? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is when he was still just a correspondent, because yeah. that didn't yeah. happen until, like, what, yeah. maybe maybe 06 or something like that? Uh, no, it was before that. I it think. was before that? I think, uh, because I'm trying to remember the timeline here. Because it wasn't, it didn't seem like it was too long after that when he got his show. Because um, we used to talk, like, he would, like, Stephen would call me. and Oh, uh, wow. He was super cool. He would just call me and say, hey, you know, basically tell me, like, you know, all the things I should do. He's like, you need to go out and do stand-up. You need to go get an improv class or a sketch group or this, that, the other. And, you know, just get out there and start networking. And and so all this stuff was kind of terrifying to me because I was like, man, ugh, I just don't want to go. Because I'm just not, like, a super social person to begin with. And I tried, like, improv class. And I just didn't mesh very well, and so I was like, I paid like all this money for this improv class. I took like two classes, and then I was just like, ugh. And I was like, I just gotta start doing stand up.